Good afternoon. Uh, hello. I found this great recipe for sunscreen. The summer's here and we're about to go on vacation in Mexico. So I've decided we need some sunscreen. So I haven't tried this yet, but I'm going to try it here with you. Um, what you're going to need is a fourth cup of coconut oil, which has 10 SPF. Okay, that one there. You're going to need two tablespoons of shea butter, which contains 6 to 10 SPF. You're going to need two teaspoons of carrot oil at 30 to 40 SPF. You're going to need a fourth cup of almond oil, which is 5 SPF. And you're going to need three tablespoons of zinc powder, which contains 20 SPF and one ounce of beeswax. Now, if you add all together, you're going to get a high amount of SPS. But the first thing that we're going to do is we need to melt the beeswax, the shea butter, and the coconut oil. Either you can put it in a microwave safe dish, safe dish um, for 30 seconds or stirring it in between. But I prefer my method of putting it on the stove. Let's come over here to the stove. And in here you see I have my coconut oil, my shea butter, and my beeswax. So I just take a microwave, uh, I take one of my Pyrex measuring dishes and sit it in some water and let it, the water heat and you just kind of keep stirring it. Um, it takes a little time for the beeswax to melt. But it's melting pretty good here. It's almost done here. So let's stir this a little bit more. And that is all melted. Okay. So now we're going to come over here. Since we got that melted pretty good, we're going to add. Zinc powder, and I need to stir it into a spoon. Then we're going to add the, the zinc powder. Two tablespoons. Okay. Now we need to add two tablespoons of zinc powder to our melted beeswax and I'm going to add that to our melted beeswax and coconut oil and shea butter. I'm going to mix that up pretty good there. Now we're going to let this cool for about five to ten minutes. Okay, that should be pretty cool enough and it's starting to uh, thicken up a little bit. So now we're going to add a fourth a cup of almond oil to the mixture. And we're going to add two teaspoons of carrot oil. Try to get all that product in there. And stir that up really, really good here. Starting to starting to stiffen up on us a little bit here, but we'll be fine. It's going to stir it really, really well while it's still warm. It's still warm, but it's cooled off enough. And I also have these neat little containers uh, um, that we're going to put this in, transfer this into once we are done. Now, just to set it all off, it's really ready, and you can put it in your container now, an airtight container, a mason jar. 
something like that. But we're going to add some fragrance to it. So I decided to try peach. Because I love the summer smells. And peach is my favorite summer fruit. Add about 15 to 20 drops. Okay. We're going to mix that in. And that smells, oh, that smells really nice. And, um, and as it sits in the container, it's going to get a little thick. Right now it's loose, but it's going to be just, it's going to, um, you put it in the container. And as it sits, as you saw before, it's going to thicken up some. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add it to, pour it into our container. Here's our final product. This is our waterproof sunscreen. Um, it took a bit of trial and error to get it into these tubes because it starts thickening up as it sits and it, it's never loose enough to pour through the funnel. So I ended up using the food injector and that worked perfectly. I just filled it up and squirted it in, but I ended up wasting a lot before I decided to try that way. But we ended up, we would have had probably two full tubes of it. But anyway, it's waterproof, smells really great, um, high in SPF um, rating. So I think it'll work. Give it a try. Thank you.